Hello everyone, welcome back to Martian Gothic Unification. Do you know what's going to happen in this play session? Probably not this episode, because this is probably going to take a while, but what's going to happen in this play session, in this fucking sitting, is I am going to beat this game. I'm going to beat it tonight. Even if I have to stay up until 2 in the morning to do it. It's, it's, uh, 8.35 right now. PM. I'm going to fucking beat this game. I think I can do it before midnight, but even if I can't, I don't care. I'm beating it. I'm gonna beat this game so hard and then I'm never gonna play it again for the rest of my life. I almost want to say I regret installing it and playing it again, but I don't. No, I don't quite regret it. The game might be complete shit in almost every way, but I don't regret it. But still, I want it to be over now. And we're going to make that happen. Alright. So, I know the next... Uh, what is it? Like, three... Yeah, I think the next three things that I need to do. So, the next thing I'm going to do is get the charged obelisk. Or, wait, is that the obelisk? No, sorry, the charged chorus. This artifact here is the chorus. The chorus. This isn't the first time we've come across a musical theme. Alright, yeah, so the artifact is the chorus, but right now it is uncharged. And that great big trimorph that's bashing the obelisk? That's what I need to charge the chorus. I need to put the chorus... I need to distract the trimorph because at the moment it cannot be killed. I need to distract it with another character. And then have someone, while, it's, while the trimorph is away, I need to have that person... Or the person who's not being tracked down by the trimorph go up to the obelisk, put in the uncharged uh, chorus, and then, once the trimorph returns to the obelisk and starts pounding on it again, it'll charge the chorus. And become now vincible instead of invincible, and then I can kill it and grab the charged chorus. Why it charges the chorus and why the trimorph magically becomes vincible instead of invincible? No one knows, but who cares? Let's do it. Alright, so I need to figure out how I'm going to do this, because again, I can't have the characters too close together. So... The walkthrough says I should take Karn down here, because apparently I need Kenzo up above for something. And hold on, something I'm also going to need later is the number four dorm tag, so who has that? I believe it's Kenzo. Yep, there it is. Okay. Let's transfer over the number four dorm tag. Shouldn't take long. I like how you get stuck on every single piece of anything in the entire environment. That's wonderful. Oh, and by the way, I figured out what I need to do to get the spectrometer using the baby bug and the checker. I'll explain that in a while. It'll be a lovely surprise for you. You'll see what I've been missing. And what I've been missing is simply the fact that my brain isn't broken and thus is unable to understand this game's lack of any logic whatsoever. You'll see. I'll save it. It'll be a surprise. Do, do, do. Way to get back uh, this way. Pew! That takes care of that. Goodbye. Okay. <sighs> All right. So I need to get Karn down there. Right? Yes. Yes? 
Yes. <laughs> Just checking. Yes, I, I need to get Karn down there. Okay. Where the hell am I now, and how am I going to get over there? Okay, I'm... I'm... Uh, actually, I think I'm pretty close. See ya. Wait a minute, don't have to Diabolus. Oh no, I gave the Diabolus up, that's right. Hmm. Alright, the way... Oh, yeah, right here. Perfect. <laughs> Dodged him like a pro. I'm getting good at this. Wait, is this the right way? Uh, yeah. It is. Is that zombie still a ghost? No, it's not a ghost anymore. That's interesting. Oh shit, I need to come up. Uh, come up now, please. Uh, is it coming up? I don't mean to be pedantic, but shouldn't it have to come up for a lot longer? I mean, look at the way down. Yeah, it took like three seconds to come up, but it takes like eight seconds to go down. Okay. Now I can see, but it still looks like hell. <laughs> that it does. All right, let's hope I don't die doing this. I don't want to burn my saves on that mobile computer. The palm top. Not a laptop, palm top. So I need to get there in one go. Or all of my progress will be gone. Wrong way. Wrong way. Whew. Just missed him. Oh, shit. Oh, God. Oh, God. Whew, I think I just missed it. Am I poisoned? No, I'm not. I'm good. Actually, do I have antitoxin? Yeah, I've got four. I'm good. Alright, so that is where Matlock is, so I cannot go there. I need to continue on. Alright, what are you supposed to take? The middlemost route? Right, but there's a lot of holes? Okay, lots of holes. Many dangerous holes. So let's go nice and slow. I'm just gonna walk. Just gonna walk. Sup guys, you enjoying the hole? I, I can't fucking see. Okay, that appears to be blocked. Alright, I have no idea what the hell the middlemost way is, so I'm just gonna go here. Okay, this seems fine. Okay, good, good, good. I'm here. Now I need to continue on west. This thing's probably gonna chase me. See ya! Um, it is gonna stop chasing me, right? Please? Okay, let's get in the crane. Because I think it might still be chasing me. Get in now. Like, now? Like, right now? Okay. 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 Good. Good, good, good. Yeah, you hump that dirt. You just sit there humping that dirt. All is well. Okay. Now. This is when we do it. And this is when I'm going to save. 
I believe I have six saves left. Oh, shit, okay. Maybe I don't need to be stingy with my saves. Save 40... What the hell am I on? I'm gonna go with 43. Okay. Let's do this thing. They sound so peaceful, don't they? Ha ah, ha ah, ah. <laughs> There we go. Ah. Ah. Oh, oh. Ooh. Ah. All right, I'm just gonna retrace my footsteps. Actually, do you have anything on you? Nope, all right, fuck it. Don't fall in the hole, 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 don't fall in the hole. Success. I didn't fall in the hole. Okay. Get her. He no, not here. Um here? I think she needs to be there. Okay, she's got the chorus. Alright, now I need to attract the Trimorph over here. Alright, you know, fuck this thing. Come on. Gonna give you a good killing. All right, I feel better. <coughs> now, it says due to a bug, once you transition to the next scene with this character, to try to get it to chase you, that the Trimorph will, it will be bugged and run in place at you. However, I've patched the game, plus this is the, P the PC version and not the PlayStation 1 version, which the tutorial is written for. Or the walkthrough, sorry. So I'm not going to bet on that happening. I'm just going to run straight to the crane if it starts to move. Here we go. Yep, it's coming. Oh, it's coming. Alright, let's let it get a bit closer. Is it gonna keep coming? It, is it coming? It sounds like it's coming. It's not coming. Hold on, let me, let me do it now. Or can I? Do I have enough time? Oh, oh, there we go. Wait, is it? Like, what is it? Oh, shit, here we go. Now, 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 use obelisk with. Okay, it's coming back. Go. I used it, right? Yes. Okay, is... Is it coming? Let's just get in here just to be safe. Hello? Trimorph? 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 Come here, boy! Trimorph! Trimorph! Trimorph? Where the fuck is the Trimorph? Uh, you know what? Let me get out my flare gun. 
tribe. Morph. Try morph. Um. Um. Did the trimorph disappear? Trimorph? Trimorph. The fuck? Oh god. Well, shit. So, I guess the patch probably fixed the original issue, but caused a new one? <laughs> Alright, let me see if um, having Karn get out of the crane will fix it. So let me put her back. Oh, God damn it! They're awake again. Come on. All righty, here we go. Okay, I'm gonna have to run out and, like, do a loop. Here we go. Are you fucking kidding me? The only way this is still completable is if for some reason the chorus is charged, even though the Trimorph didn't pound on it. Otherwise, I'm gonna have to load my save game, so let me go check. I'm almost certain it's not going to be charged if he didn't pound on it, though, so... A small hollow. No, there isn't even an option for it. <laughs> hey, dude! Hey, that, hey, that's rude. What are you kidding? That hurts. Ow, my everything. Okay, so... So, the solution to that is what? What can I do? How can I do that differently? How could I do that differently? I guess I just won't go in the crane? I think I have enough time. It seems to be awfully slow. So, back we go. Try number two. I'm actually starting to be able to navigate around this place, amazingly. Oh great! We've got three. Except the other one appears to not care about me. Okay. Sure, why not? Alright, let's get her super close. Uh, 
All right, gonna have to do this fast. Wait a minute, what is this thing here? What is this? Follow the gleam. Hold on, wait, is this where I'm supposed to put it? No, I mean, I used it in the other place, so surely this isn't it, but hold on. When it's finished loading, don't move, and you'll see the tremor running in place, but he's not moving. Yeah, okay. Place it in the obelisk. Yeah, yeah, I'm not supposed to put it here. This isn't it. Alright, let's give this a shot. How many tabs is it to switch over to her? Two. And goodbye. Use it. And oh god, go 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 fucking go. Wait, 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 what is it doing? Are you fucking kidding me? How the hell do I avoid this? <sighs> it doesn't seem to care that I'm here. It doesn't appear to be doing any sort of pathfinding whatsoever. It appears to have just been running in a straight line. So that's great. Alright, hold on. Let me test something out. What if... I only use one person. Do you actually need two people? Case in point, here's what I mean. What if you do this? See what I mean? I could do this. Oh shit. I could totally do this. Okay, question. Have you ever wondered what happens if you get two of the team members too close together? I actually can't remember. Let's find out. I actually thought she was closer. I'm committed now, I'm going to find her. I don't remember what happens. And I think I'm poisoned. Alright, here we go. Hey, Madlock, how's it going? I just wanted to give you a high five. So now you know, that's what happens when you come together. 
you get a weird flashback video, and then a Trimorph explodes from the ceiling, and then it says Sayonara. Fun facts. The more you know. Okay, so since I apparently don't actually need two people, I mean, it really doesn't seem like I need two people. So, if I could have Karn do this, this would actually be best. I don't suppose there's a tube in here? Nope. Alright, I'll do it with Matlock. Actually, fuck it. You know what? I can't, I can't do it with Karn. I actually can do it with Karn. I think that's easier than having Matlock run all the way over there. Wait a minute. No, no, no. Never mind. <coughs> Matlock actually has the gun. But wait, if I'm switching over the... <sighs> Whatever. I could switch them all over at the same time, but fuck it. I know the way, it's not going to take that long. <clears throat> oh my god, come on. Okay. Flare gun. Let's do this thing. Sup, dude? Go around in a nice circle. And... I might die. God damn it! Fuck, I need more distance. Oh shit, I just loaded my first save game. No, I don't want that one. <sighs> and do it all over again. No, it is actually faster to switch the stuff, so I'm just gonna do that. Of course. Of course. What do I need that for? That's... Uh... Later. I will need that later. Wait. I can't... You fucking kidding me. I can't put the artifact in the tube. Okay. Guess we're going back, folks. The artifact is untubable. Let's try that again. Clickety clackety, clickety clackety, fuck off.
All right, try this again, shall we? Flare gun. Now, hold on. I need to get more distance. But I can't go back to the crane area because it's probably just going to bug out if I do that. You know, fuck, I'm going to burn a save. I'm going to burn a save right here. I've got seven more. It's fine. Okay, we're good. Now we don't have to worry about it. Let's just do it. Okay, I think I'm good. Ooh, okay, yep, yep, I'm good. And charge it. Charge it. Yes! And now it can be killed. Or my rocket launcher flare gun could just hit an invisible wall. That's fine too. Okay. And done. And take a charge chorus. Praise the fucking gods. It's over. It's over. It's over. Okay. Walk through. What do I do next? All right. Once you obtain the charge chorus, take Mat take Matlock over to point number four. Let's do that right now. So over there, all the way on the right, that's the Regal Tomb, which is where the Crane and Karn are. So I need to go north east to point number four, wherever that is. I'm not exactly sure where that entrance is. Is it this way? I don't think it's this way. It's not this way. Maybe it's this way? It's not that way. Maybe it's this way. Wait a minute, I think it's... Whoa, I think it's actually this way. Oh, do I still have the... Yeah, I still have the flare gun. There's enough for everybody. I don't give a crap, but I will take the health boost. Fuck the ammo. Uh, you look blue. You look very blue. Are you special? I want to see what's on your body. Show me what's on your person. Really? That's it? Alright, fine. Gee, what a wonderful view. I sure wish the player could see it. Toxin. Oh, there's something here. What is the? Oh shit! Oh god! Oh fuck! 
Can't stop. Hold on, am I... Am I... No, I'm not poisoned. Okay, I'm fine. Shit. Hold on. Hold on. There's a box. There's a box. That's a vac tube. I don't know what the... What's in there? Hold on. Oh, for fuck's sake. Open. There. Great. More piccolo ammo. Actually, I don't even think I have any. No, I don't. Fuck it all. Looks like I'm gonna die if I go down there. No, don't do that. Is there any safe area down here? Okay, I think this is the safe area. Yes. Okay, this is the great big musical resonator thingamabob, but... Yeah. Alright. You'll need the charge... What the fuck am I hearing? No, 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 no. No. I hear you. I fucking hear you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You go back to where you came from. Okay. For this next part, you'll need the charge chorus and number four dorm tag. Go to the... Uh, search the chest for some items. Now head to the northern circle on your map and you'll enter the altar room. That's where I'm at. Here you'll find another one of those weird statues like the one you saw in Geolab. You'll also see a spiral platform with a hole at the center. Refer to the altar chorus notes for clues to this puzzle. Okay. To start, you need to place the charge course at the center of the altar, and then it will start radiating light, radiating light, and you'll need to get off of it as quickly as possible. Otherwise, you'll die, just like the person who's currently dead on it. Let's see. Right, so the, remember the note that says something about, like, an item that denies its color? That item that denies its color is the dorm tag number four. Remember, I won't open that, like, black and white room. So I need to charge it. Oops. I believe I have the tag. Yes, I do. Thankfully. So let me start by saving it. <clears throat> and let's place the, cor the charge chorus in it. But not before I search the body. Looks like a cathedral. Martian Gothic. You don't say. This is one fool that won't rush in. What? About the altar, she has to say... This is one fool that won't rush in. I don't even know what that means. What happened to him? He died. Ah, I see where Pigman got his inspiration. Okay, let's go. Use altar with... Boom! Goodbye! <coughs> Alright, so there's apparently a pattern to its... lights, and I need to find... A safe point. Wait, is there actually a pattern, or is it just on and then off? I don't see a pattern. Huh, maybe they've changed it in the PC version or the patch. Anyway, what I need to do is this. Uh, go! Oh, no, go! Okay. Now it should be charged. Or color corrected or whatever the hell uh could you please pick it up go 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 okay Whew. and done all right what's next walkthrough 
blah blah blah. Send the dag over to Ke send the dag, send the dag over to Kenzo so he can access dorm number four. Okay, but we're gonna have to do quite a bit before I do this. Okay. So, in the Arkham dorm, which is where dorm tag number four is going to open for Kenzo. That's the whole thing that has to do with the color sequence. And remember, part of that puzzle, I need the spectrometer reading from that painting in the Kremlin. And to get that spectrometer reading, I need the spectrometer. The one that I can't pick up. But remember, I said I knew how now, thanks to a different walkthrough I looked at that explained what the hell was going wrong with my previous attempts. So, we got a backup here. Okay, first thing I need to do is go send the dorm tag over to Kenzo, and then with Kenzo, I need to get the spectrometer, and then I need to get the spectrometer reading from the painting in the Kremlin, and then, then, I can go over to dorm number four. So we've got lots of micro steps. It's 9.16, I've still got plenty of time, even if it's past midnight, I don't care, I'm finishing this game. Plenty of time. Let's hang out right here. Whoops. I meant to do this. There we go. Let's hang out right there. So I've got plenty of inventory space. Yep, the checker should be inside, correct? Yes, it is. Gonna leave it there for now. Okay, let's go grab that tag, and then let's head to get the spectrometer. Gonna do the dead man's walk once again. You'll find that the dead man's walk is rather stiff. <sighs> well, that shut him up. Dude, he interrupted me when I was shooting my load. My psionic load. Dead man's walk. Shouldn't be a big deal now that I've got the Sayonara. Good morning. Or night. Or evening. Appear to not be hurt. I just got attacked, attacked by a zombie that was knocked down. What the fuck? Why wouldn't it shoot? Almost there. <clears throat> Almost there. Okay. Alright. You want to know what I was doing wrong? So, the walkthrough mentioned that you need to use the checker with the baby bug to magnetically attract the spectrometer on the ground. So, I was putting the checker inside of the one storage compartment of the baby bug. Makes sense, right? Doesn't that make sense? You have a magnetic checker, you need it to pick up the thing in the baby bug, so I put it inside of the baby bug. Makes sense, right? Hmm? So you might say, what the hell was I doing wrong? What other way can you do it? Guess what? <laughs> Let me show you. Let me show you what I did wrong. 
checker. Oh, hold on, let me exit that so I'm not in the inventory of it. You don't put... You, you don't put the checker inside of it. Okay, see? You don't put it inside of it. You use checker with... Yeah. You, you see, you don't you don't put the checker inside of it. You you use the checker with. You use it with. I mean, it it makes sense. Why wouldn't you use it with it? I mean, it's so stupid to put the magnetic checker inside of the baby bug. No, you use it with. Yeah. Yeah. It is very important that if you feel angry, you must take a deep breath. Okay. Take a deep breath with me. There's nothing to be angry about. You will see. See, everything is fine. Life is great, unlike Martian Gothic unification. Why did the baby bug just show up in an area where I didn't put it? I put it at my feet, and yet now it's here. What? Oh, look. It worked. See, instead of... Here's the game's logic. Instead of the checker being inside of the baby bug, instead, I put it in, inside of the baby bug. Wait, but those two should be the same. But to the game, they're not. Because this game's stupid! Yay! Eh, eh. Somebody help me, my brain hurts. What's wrong with this game? What the fuck? Oh. Oh, I don't, I don't even, what the fuck? I'm trying to imagine what the script looks like that this game just executed to cause this monstrosity to happen. What the fuck did the game just do? I... What? Okay, tab. Let's see what happens. Can I... Can I... Did I literally just dupe the baby bug? Can I literally pick... Literally pick up two? I'm not gonna try, because I might break the game. Wait, does this one even show up? Yeah, yeah, there it is. Take baby bug. No. All right. Do I have the spectrometer? Oh, see, that's why you couldn't put the checker inside of it because you needed it. They needed that inventory space so that they could put the spectrometer in it. Yeah. Okay, that makes sense. What the fuck. Okay, it's 9.24, I'm gonna finish this game. I'm gonna fucking finish it. I think it's a spectrometer. It analyzes the wavelengths of colors into numerical values. It, yeah, it monitors the spectros. All of them. All two spectros it monitors. Okay, now it's time to go to dorm number four. Which... I think I can actually access from in here. In, yeah, actually I can. Oh, wait, wait, no, 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 never mind, sorry. Wrong order. I need to analyze the painting in the Kremlin. And to do that, uh, which route should I take? I'm going back. I'll go back the way I came. Oh, 
Oh, wonderful. Oh, wonderful. Doubly wonderful. Triplely wonderful. Yeah, fucking kick you, asshole. How's my health? Eh, it's fine. Whatever, I have enough health for this. Let's see if I can get all three at the same time. Never mind, that didn't work out. Whatever. One fell down and the other one walked away. My mother told me never to shoot a zombie in the back. It's considered dishonorable, but... My mother was never trapped on a Martian base with evil zombies trying to kill them. So fuck her. Wrong way. Oh, Kremlin. If I take a right up here, no. Yes, actually, right, right here. Yeah, the walkthrough wasn't kidding about this being the best weapon in the game. It does take a little bit of using to get used to, but it's damn good. Take a right, and then take a left. And we're there. Use painting with. And by the way, I looked at the walkthrough, it mentions that you do have to take this reading. You cannot just, like, use a walkthrough or already know the code. You need to actually take the reading for it to be usable in-game. I guess I'll have to see the keypad to understand exactly how I'm supposed to use that. I'm carrying that with me, right? I don't need to write it down. Or... Never mind. Apparently I have to write it down, even though it's a piece of paper, so I apparently have it in paper form. But yet I don't actually have it. So whatever. Alright, well, I'll write down everything. Here we go. 703.8. Fred. 441.6. Flu. 563.7. Hello. 600.8. Horange. And I'm running out of room here, but 506.9 green. Well, 8, double check the numbers. Yep, yep, yep. 563.7, yep. Okay, great. Wonderful. Oops. Okay, now it is time to head to dorm number 4. Which I can access very easily. Once I get back to my main place where I started. Oh, right. This door is still closed. Because of the bug that is probably now fixed, but I don't give a shit. I'm not going to test it. Oh, wait. That's right. I need health. I forgot. Let's do that right now. Boom. And I run, I run so far away, 
And I shoot all of the zombies in the head. And I run. I run so far away. And I lose, I lose the will to live Because this game is tedious as hell I think it's my airlock. This is my airlock. Here we go. Here we go. Okay. Let me make sure there's nothing to like look out for in here. Because it's been a long time since I've saved. No, it doesn't say anything about it being dangerous. Now this is really weird. Total color drain. And it's full of phantoms. <laughs> he sounds so casual for a man that just walked into a black and white world, opened with a keycard that was charged with the screams of some ancient resonator thing. At least it's safe. Now how do I enter colors on a numerical keypad? Gee, I have no idea. Wait. Oh, I don't think I'd do that one yet. Is that a vac tube? That is a vac tube, you can barely see it. But there it is. Well, the lack of colors makes it a bit hard to see any hotspots. I've seen a painting like this someplace else. I guess that's a hint for if you didn't. Uh, know to use a spectrometer in the painting? That's the way out. Okay, I guess this is the only keypad. Alright. Let's avoid the walkthrough for now. Let me see if I can figure this out. Well... I mean... I have red, blue, yellow, orange, and green. And numbers associated with... Uh, you know, fuck it. I'm gonna use a walkthrough. This is stupid. The note has a color sequence you need to open this locker. Oh, Oda's note. Okay, so the, the spectrometer readings I got actually are not relevant yet. That's later. So the note that I wrote down was red, blue, red, green, yellow, blue. Yeah. Okay, think of it this way. Blue is the darkest shade of gray, and yellow is the lightest. Okay, so I have to convert the colors to how gray they would be? Okay. Uh, I guess red would be one from the darkest? I'm not sure. Red. Blue. Blue. Red, green, blue, yellow? Okay, blue is the darkest. That's yellow. Maybe this is red then? This is red and this is green? Is, would red converted to black and white actually be lighter than green? I have no idea. Okay, let me make sure I get this straight. Red, red, red. Okay, red, blue, red, green, 
yellow. The fuck? Wait, if that's... If that's not the combination, then what the fuck is the combination? I just tried both possible combinations. If you're having trouble figuring out which buttons to press, think of it this way. Blue is the darkest shade of gray and yellow is the lightest. The other two colors are in between, red being the darker of the remaining two. Right, that's what I thought. This one's red. Blue, red, green, yellow. Blue, red, it's red, blue, red, green, yellow, blue. Okay, apparently I fucked it up the first time, or I don't know, whatever. Now how do I enter color? Yeah, yeah. Alright, so now there's another one. So... Okay, well I have all of those previous spectrometer readings, but the thing is there's four digits associated with each. So... What do, what do I do? Do I enter them all? No, it's only a four digit. Yeah, it's, it's a four digit thing. Do I just enter one of them? Seven, oh, three, eight, four, four, one, six. Maybe I enter the first number of each of them? I don't know. Let's keep going down. Five, six, three, seven. Oh, that was it. Okay, it was the spectrometer reading for yellow. Okay, airlock five. Where the fuck that is? I have no idea. I literally don't have any more room for notes. Um. Okay, got it. But what do I do with that? What next, walkthrough? And by the way, I'm 83% through the walkthrough, so I should be close to the end of the game. Uh-huh. You'll need to take your spectrometer and you must take the reading of the door. Okay. When you arrive at airlock 5, there will be a ghost zombie guarding it. Let him wa let him have it with the sayonara and enter the code for the door. Oh, okay. That's the ghost zombie place. Okay, got it. That is somewhere back here. Good shot. That was a wonderful waste of time. I believe that goes to the Sayonara. No, actually, this is it. Okay, hold on. There will be a ghost zombie guarding it. Let him have it with a sayonara and enter the code for the door. Examine the Eve suit and you'll see that they have air in the tanks. If you open the Eve suit, nothing seems to happen. Exit Eve base through the back door and you can explore the area outside. Okay, so let's do that first. But before I actually go outside, I'm going to save it. Goodbye, ghost. What I meant to say was goodbye, ghost. What I meant to say was goodbye, ghost. Oh, you're telling me there's nothing on the ghost body. Okay. No spect spectral ammo. Is that blood or rust on the door? I think it's rust. So yeah, this is the point where... Well, this, <laughs> this is far past the point. This is far past the point in the game where all the puzzles make no sense whatsoever. Like, why am I even here? You're wondering? Like, why did I go to the dorm? Why am I here? Why did I just fight the ghost? Why am I about to go outside? What reason... What reason in the game 
has it given me to do this, other than the simple fact that I can't progress and I can't do anything else? But that's not enough of a reason. Why is my character doing this? It makes no sense. I'm about to go fight a ghost, by the way. In case you didn't know. Alright, let's save it. Burning these saves like there's no tomorrow. Because there isn't. Because I'm going to finish the game today. 40... What the fuck am I on? 40... 46? Sure. Whatever. The suit's intact. Tanks full of air. Alright, let's go. Open it. Or don't. Okay, apparently the game automatically equips the Eve's... The, the suit when you go outside. Bye. Yep. Because... That makes sense, right? Okay, hold on. When you walk outside, cans will automatically equip the space shoot. <laughs> space shoot. Oh my god. Space suit. This is a small area, but make sure you explore every inch of it. The first thing you'll see is the dead man in a space suit. Search his body and walk closer to the grave. You'll see the hourglass just sitting out in the open, so pick it up. There's one more area you need to explore here before you leave. There's a hole to the left of the tombstone, left of the hourglass, so keep walking around until you find it. You'll be greeted by Whitaker, who rises up from the grave. He'll graciously invite you to join him in the transfer in his transformation, but respectfully decline and blast him with a sayonara. The first thing I'll see is a man in a spacesuit. No, actually, the first thing I see is sand. Oh, there it is. Throat ripped. Who attacked him out here? Oh, it must have been a gust of a wind. Okay. Scion cell, which I will take, but I don't need. And a shit ton of diabolus ammo. Search his body and walk closer to the grave. You'll see the hourglass just sitting on the open. Pick it up. Of course, there's an hourglass by a bunch of graves on Mars. There's one more area you need to explore before you leave. There's a hole to the left of the tombstone. Hole. Where the hell's a hole? Alright. Here. 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 Hi. I think this is a boss fight. Go faster, please. Shoot! For fuck's sake, shoot! Do I die if he gets me? Sometimes when I press enter, it just doesn't shoot. Because it doesn't feel like it. Like now, for example. the fuck? Good, you're not insta-dead. Oh, for fuck's sake. I might be dead. Oh, shit, I have, like, no health? Okay, could you please shoot your gun this time, please? Thank you. Is this thing ever going to die? Please? Could you, could you please die someday? Could you re-die? Or just, or just be knocked down for at least a little bit, that'd be cool. And now it won't shoot. That's wonderful. This, this is such a tense boss fight. Oh, 
Oh god. Probably need to get healed again, yep. For fuck's sake. Did, like, something change between the PC version and, and the PS1 version? Like, maybe you're not supposed to kill him? <laughs> I like how the gun just randomly doesn't work. There we go. Resurrect all the ancient inhabitants of Mars? Reverse time? You can't turn the clock back. Oh, really? We're gonna continue this boss fight, huh? But the clocks are turning back. The sounds are streaming upward. There is no future but the past. I will see you soon. Down among the dead men. Best boss fight ever, and I can't stop because he's gonna get me. Please tell me I'm faster than him. Whew, there we go. Hold on, I think I need health. Actually, I don't. Let me sum up that boss fight. This boss fight involves finding a grave, a ghost zombie rises out of it, then you have to hit that ghost zombie like 10 to 20 times with a sayonara while your gun randomly decides to not fire for no particular reason, all the while you are running, or no, you are slowly walking backwards in a tiny little area while your gun constantly misfires until it falls down and then the zombie delivers soliloquies to you and then you walk backwards some more and shoot it a couple more times and then it goes down. And on the zombie, I found red sand. Do you know where else you can find red sand? All of Mars. What the fuck is so special about the red sand that's in his pocket? I'm assuming it's in a little, like, drug bag? It's like crack cocaine? Cocaine powder? Except it's red? Cocaine? There's red sand everywhere. What's special about this fucking red sand? Why did I need to kill him? Why couldn't I just run away? Great. A small bag of Martian sand. It's the reddest Martian sand I've ever seen. So that's the reason I needed the red Martian sand to, I presume, put in the hourglass? Because it's the reddest. It's the fucking reddest sand you've ever seen. And only the reddest sand will do for this empty hourglass that is used for something. 9.50, I'm gonna finish this game. To the rescue walkthrough. Okay. Search his body for the red sand and combine it with the hourglass. Wait, I can use it? <laughs> What's that going to do? Hold on. Examine the completed hourglass and Kenzo will give you a hint about where to go next. Take the hourglass and head back to Arkham Dorm. You can use it anywhere inside. Everything will be restored to normal and you'll find the Heart of Stone lying on the ground. 
So I need to, I need to, I needed to go to the Ghost of Whitaker, shoot him with my Sayonara, get his extra special super duper red Martian sand, put it in the fucking hourglass that I had no idea was out here, and then take it to the place that's black, and by using the hourglass, I'll turn back time and make it color. Yeah, that fucking makes sense. Totally. Totally makes sense. Fuck you. How do I get back? I think it's this way. Yep. Okay. Hey, someone's turned the colors back on. Someone fucked up the colors. This place looks horrible. Ugh. I think I preferred it in black and white. And the Heart of Stone looks like... A tornado. Okay. Now it looks like a bunch of crystals. So this is the Heart of Stone. Now where do you put a heart? <sighs> You'll find the Heart of Stone lying on the ground and take the heart- Now take the heart over to the kitchen and show it to Ben Gunn. Okay. So yeah, you got the Martian sand, you got the Martian time back device, you restored the color, you got the Heart of Stone, which you didn't know existed, and now you need to take it to Ben Gunn for no particular reason. That is not the way I want to go. This is the way I want to go. I also want to save it. Where can I save it? Where is the nearest place I can save it? I don't want to use a mobile save. What about like here? Wait, you have to use an item? Looks like the lock mechanism has been heat fused. Oh. Oh, that's that door. I'm not hurt, am I? Ooh. Yeah, I'm gonna use one. Just, uh, I don't wanna like find myself shooting and then randomly dying because I accidentally used up the last bit of my health with the Sayonara. That would suck. Alright, I know that's where I want to go. Ah, uh, fuck it, let's just do that. I'll... Hopefully the game won't crash. That's really what I'm worried about. I'm not, at this point, I'm not worried about dying. I'm worried about the game crashing or just bugging permanently. Like the stupid Trimorph thing. Alright. Apparently something's going to be changed in here. Indeed it is. It's been left open. Benny! Um... Is he dead on the ground? I guess it's not just useful for slicing bacon, it's also useful for slicing necks. Well, at least he's got his head in the game. <laughs> Take Ben Gunn's head. Before I do that, how about I read the other stuff? Hmm. 
You're staring at a silver platter with a dead man's head on it, and what you have to say is... Hmm. That looks like the sand from the hourglass. You're telling me that that bit of orange stuff, which you described as the reddest Martian sand you've ever seen, is... is that same stuff? But it's orange. It looks like fucking curry powder. What the hell are you talking about? It's not red. Wait, it's not even really orange. It's like yellow. I thought it looked lethal, and it was. Well, he left a note here for me. <laughs> With thanks. The, the text is so messed up, I can't even read it. Aspire to be the... Creature of my own creation? What? This may come in handy, and if I'm up and about later on, it won't be me. P.S. Whitaker called. Weird. Wait a minute. There's a fancy little card beside it. You mean the one I already took? Or is there another card? He means the, the one I already took. It doesn't feel quite dead. Now, you might be thinking... What are you supposed to do with Ben Gunn's head? Well... I'm pretty sure you have to do something they have, once again, no logical reason to do. But I'm pretty sure it's fucking nuts. Let's find out. Take all the items back to the laboratory area and switch to Matlock. You'll need to brand you'll need to bring a Matlock back to Biolab so she can start work on a serum. You've reached the final stretch, we're almost there. Okay. So hold on, let me get what I need. I'm gonna need the head, right? Like I guess I need the heart and that stuff. Sure. Alright, so to get there, I need to go... Um... This way? Uh. I'm gonna have to bring Matlock all the way back. That's not gonna be fun. That's the extrude dance, spinning in a circle. Alright, well I've got a bunch of saves here that I can burn. And I intend to use them up. At least some of them. Let's use this one. Actually, let me dump the items and then use it. Where should I dump them? I don't think there's a storage locker in there. Oh. Got the lenses in here. Got the book that I don't need. I don't think Kenzo's used any of that stuff. Yeah. Alright, so... Wait. The fuck? I'm supposed to take the items to Bio Lab, but I can't even put it in the damn tube. Alright, I need to put them somewhere else? I don't know. Eh. I need to leave them here for Madlock. How do I do that? Maybe I can just. Maybe I'll just put the head on the fucking corpse. Good. There. Now it's out of my inventory. Lovely. And you know what? While I'm at it, why don't I get rid of the Heart of Stone? Apparently you don't do that.
Well, that's already full of blood samples. Uh, can I shove it in there? No, I can't. Can I shove it in the thermalizer? No, I can't. How do I deliver this to Matlock? Hold on, I think there's a locker in one of these rooms. Actually, I better do this just in case I need the items in the back tube. I don't want them just sitting here. Storage... here? Nope. Here? I think there's a locker in here. Yeah. And it has no room. Could I put it in here even if I wanted to? I can. Great. Great. Lovely. Alright, let's save it. saving it. Okay, let's try this again. The game crashed, and I just had to replay a bunch of the game since the last time I saved. Yay! Put his fucking head on. I don't know if this character can do this, but apparently you're supposed to sew it. With the needle and thread. Needs medical touch. <sighs> yep, needs to be done by Matlock. And the only place to put this shit is. You can't put it in a vac tube. You can't put the stuff in the drawer, his head and all that. <clears throat> the only place that I've found that I can actually fucking put it, that's anywhere nearby, is this itty bitty locker, which is actually not itty bitty, it's huge, but for some reason it only has two spaces. There you go. Have fun with that, Matlock. Okay, what do I need to do next? Uh, so yeah, apparently I need Matlock to come all the way up and finish the science project, so she's going to need the flesh. Yep, so right now my current goal is to get Matlock back here. Whee! This is gonna be fun. Let's see how long this is going to take me. It's probably going to be like five minutes of constant running. <clears throat> the time right now is 10.24. Can I finish this before midnight? I'm seriously starting to doubt it. At least I'm finally starting to get a hang of this place, though. I kind of know where I'm going. Hey, blue zombie. And take a right. Actually, I'm gonna go to the... Eh, yeah, fuck it, I'll go to the right. Now take a left. And take a right. Or get stuck. I just don't want to fall in a hole. Yeah, like that.
Back to site number one or two, don't remember which. Almost there. Almost. Is that floating zombie? Is zombie still floating about? Yes, it is. Um, there you go. Now the bullets are working. Uh, uh, uh. Marshall's Zombie Sex Sounds. Only $9.95, available in stores near you. Volume 1. Oh god. Whoa, 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 that could actually kill me. Don't fucking die. Hold on. She's got 11, I'm gonna take one. Don't need any of that. I guess I'll take that. It stacks. Why not? Almost there. Oh. Almost ran into that. Oh, fuck. Where am I? Okay, I think this is it right here. Please. Please be it. Please, please, please. Please can't be it. I just realized Kenzo is in where Matlock needs to be. Alright, is she safe here? Hold on, I need to find out if she's... Yes, she's safe here. Alright, I need to move Kenzo. somewhere. Okay, well this looks safe. No, he can't be here, because she's going to have to go get the Trimorph tissue sample. Which means she's going to have to come this way. God damn it. Gotta get them all the way out of here.
Oh, I guess I should be commentating, shouldn't I? Okay, I'm currently walking down a corridor. Now I'm walking down another corridor. Now I'm annoyed. I'm walking down another corridor. Walking down another corridor. I'm still annoyed. This is another corridor. It's very long. I have to run down it. I'm still pissed off. The game might crash at any second. Might undo 20 minutes of progress. Alright, let's go put Ben Gunn back together. Okay. Stitch his head on. Yay. Whoops. Now let's shove the heart of stone inside of the Frankensteinian Ben Gunn body because you can. Why not? Up, dude. Ah, the heart of stone has stirred her. Now Queen Mab only has eyes for me, blind to all others. Now you can approach her, heart in hand. But tread softly, my friends. Tread softly. I don't even have the energy in me to criticize this puzzle. But, um, yeah, I just put a heart of stone that I got from the Whitaker body dust Martian thing, and then I turned back time and I got the heart of stone from the colorless room, and then I put it in the body, and then it talked to me, and then I'm now it's turned into a flesh heart that I just took. Because, yeah. Yep. And even after all of that, she has nothing to say. Back to the walkthrough. Now that you have the flesh heart, you'll have to go all the way back down to the regal tomb and place it in the niche. Wait. Oh, wait, wait, hold on. Okay, um, I need to collect the Trimorph sample. Might as well do that now. I need the flare gun, check. And I need rubber gloves, not check. Who has the rubber gloves? It's him. Okay. Um, I kind of want to save it, but... Eh, fuck it, whatever. I'll save it when I get to the Trimorph. Right, I'm going to give the rubber gloves to Matlock, and then I'm going to take Matlock over to that trapped Trimorph and attempt to kill it. Hopefully this time I won't miss. Should be a vac tube right over here, yep. Press space again when I meant to press enter. Oh, sorry, I should be commentating, shouldn't I? I'm shooting a zombie. I'm <clears throat> in a big chamber. I'm transferring items between characters for the millionth time. Nope. Yep. I'm now running. I'm still running. And I'm still running. At some point, you just run out of things to commentate upon. I think this game reached that point about 10 hours ago.
All right, Matlock, let's go get us a sample. Actually, now that I've taken those items out, hold on. I don't know if I need all those lenses. It seems like at most I need one more for Kenzo because he's never been down there. What's the fourth one for? I don't know. Whatever. Alright, let's go do this. No. I want to open the door, the one that's right in front of me, please. Thank you. Alright, we go this way, and then we go this- nope, no we don't go that way, we go this way. And we, oh, no, we get stuck on that thing, and then we go left, and then we go this way, and then we go this way, and then I believe we go up here, and we, uh, yep, we go, and then I think we take a right, no, uh, not yet, almost, almost there. And then we get attacked, and then the zombie phases through us, and then, and that's what that's all about. Then I think we take a right. Yes, okay. Alright, this is the point where you save the game. I think I have, like, what, five more saves? Four. Alright, whatever. What save am I on? I don't know, 55. Sure. Well, I had no depth perception, but this time it actually worked. And it disappears. But unlike the other Trimorphs, which I could have, of course, gotten a sample from any of them, but this one's special. This one disappears and then leaves behind a lump of flesh. Which you can't just take, you need to use gloves, otherwise you die or something. Great. Doors, 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 and corridors, and doors, and corridors, and then more doors. Alright, what do I put this thing in? Thermalizer or what? Nope. Uh, microscope. Done. Last thing is the thermal processing of alien fluid sample. Okay, now it's time to take the flesh heart, I believe. Now they have the flesh heart, you'll have to go all the way back down to the regal tomb and place it in the niche. Send the laser scalpel of the flesh heart and the final syringe over to Kenzo. And take him down to the necropolis. Wait. 
Wait, do I need three people down there at one time? Is that what you're telling me? The Sayonara will make this trip a whole lot easier when you reach the real tomb place of heart. Wait. So the laser... Oh, no, no, you just need two people, but for some reason Matlock is going to be up here. Okay, I guess I'm going to be sending the sample up to Matlock to make things easier, I guess. Okay, laser scalpel, flesh heart, and the final syringe over to Kenzo. Did I just save it? I can't remember. I honestly can't remember if I just saved it, but I think I did like two seconds ago. I don't know. Whatever. Alright, so, uh, I need to move some shit around. I have the flesh heart. Who has the final syringe? He does, and laser scalpel as well. So let me get out and let me send that shit over. Ten forty-three. Can I please just use the vac tube without being harassed? Nope. I've got some free space, so why don't I take this shit? I'll leave one in there. I will send the laser scalpel up and the syringe. I believe that is it, right? Laser scalpel, flesh heart, and final syringe over to Kenzo and take him down to the necropolis. I'm just, at this point, I'm like, I'm like, what's the right word? I'm like, controlled the burning, like I'm angry, but I'm channeling my anger, my frustration into beating this game, so now I'm just like going quiet, and I'm just going to do my best to beat the game, like I'm turning all, I'm channeling all of my hatred into this game. All right, time to take him down to the necropolis. He needs... Those contacts, are there? Oh, there's some in there, perfect. He's got a ready-made kit for him. Okay, let's go. This way, and... Oh, don't... Don't go around the corner. Fuck you. How much health do I does he have? I'll use one.
Yeah, stabby, stabby, stabby. You want to kill me? Blah, blah, blah. Something over there. Hopefully I hit it. Success? No success? No success. Okay. Finally, Kenzo down to the necropolis. This thing's very squeaky. All right. And got everything. I'm gonna dump this lipstick. And the biosensor, because I don't need them. And I don't really have room for them. All right, let me just make sure what I'm doing here. Supposed to place the heart inside the niche, and then uh, it'll, and then you, and you collect your fluid sample, and then okay, great. I sure hope the game doesn't crash or I fall into a hole. That would be unfortunate. Pro dodge, pro dodge, pro dodge, oh yeah. Pro dodge. Get in the hang of this, and then you go this way, and then I believe you go this. Oh shit. And then I think you go this way. Standing in the middle of this colossal cavern, sculpted by beings thousands of times older than humanity, I feel as small and lonely as an atom. Stop talking to yourself, Kenzo. Okay, cool. Sure. Oh shit, I'm actually there. Oh my god, I didn't think I'd ever see the day. Oh my god. Hold on, I need to save it. Uh, 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 uh. Getting caught on everything. This game has a perpetual case of sticky wall syndrome. Someone had too much fun with super glue. No, I don't want to examine the fucking corpse. I want to examine the computer that's in front of me, not the corpse behind me. Three left. Save, what the hell am I on? 56? Sure. Alright, we need a fluid sample, and there's like a membrane thing over it, apparently. So you put the heart in it, like, yeah, okay, and that's Queen Mob or something? Sure. Why not? It's like a big insect thing. And then, I think you, like, used the crane or something. Oh, I see what's going on.
Take me down. Just not too far down. <laughs> I'll get to actually control it. Uh, whoa. What? Okay. Apparently, if you go back up to the top, it takes you back. I'm Spider-Man, Spider-Man! <laughs> that looks so stupid. Uh, hi. What's up? Use... I never thought I would ever see that sentence. Use alien breast sack with... No, let's examine the alien breast sack. He has nothing to say. Maybe the laser's talking to me. Alright. We are now laser scalping the alien breast sack. Now we're gonna get some alien breast milk. Okay, bye. This thing is fucking loud. I'm gonna get away from it so I can actually think. Okay, there we go. Use the witch to lower yourself down. Now you need to use the laser scalpel to cut through the sovereign. Oh, that's the sovereign. Sorry, not Queen Mob, or maybe they're the same thing. I don't know. Extract some milk and send the sample back up to Biolab so Matlock can finish your viral antidote. Place the milk in the thermalizer. You'll get three vaccines, so make sure everybody gets one. The team is cured, and it's time to go home. There's only one thing left to do now. I'm not sure what that one thing is, but let's do it. All right, let's send it on up to her, and let's let her make the vaccines, and let's distribute the vaccines. Wait, what the fuck is a milk blood sample? Milk and blood? Or what? Because those are, blood and milk are very different things. I don't know. Whatever, I'll take the stuff back, because now I've got more room in my inventory. Alright, I think I'm safe here. So I'm going to let her do her science. Sticky wall syndrome again. A severe case of it. Boom. Uh, now what? Is is that it? That's it. She literally doesn't even say anything. I just antidote done. Okay. Okay. Got it. What if I just have her take all of the virus antidotes and screw everyone else over? I don't think it would let you. Let's distribute it to the other people. Alright, getting Kenzo to get it will be easy. I'm not sure about Karn, because Kenzo's really close. Oh. Groovy. Yes, groovy. Alright, how am I going to do this? What if I just, like, stuff him over here? Yeah, let's stuff them over here. Let's stuff them all the way in this corner. That should be good. Hold on, someone's coming. Yeah, that should do it. Nope. That should do it. Alright, let's get it fast.
serum. Better work. Okay, and everyone is cured. Wait, does that mean we can come together now? I guess it probably does. Not that I want to try it just yet. Alright, hold on, let me see what to do next in the walkthrough. Uh, hi. Don't look at each other. The bacteria might know. <gasps> no, 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 no. Look away. Alright, I really want to save it right about now. Final mission. Karn is the demolition export, so this, will, so this will be his job. You'll need to take the explosive down to the pit chamber and set the charge by the fissure. Don't be stingy with the health and ammo because this is the last mission. Take the explosives you found in the crate and combine them with the detonator. Now head down to the pit and place them near the fissure. Karn will set the timer and tell his people that it's time to leave. You have a little over five minutes to make it from the pit chamber all the way to the shuttle bay. Don't worry about... Oh, oh wow. Okay, don't worry about Kenzo and Matlock. They'll find their own way there. You're only responsible for Karn's safety, so get... So get moving. Okay, just get to the shuttle bay. Got it. Hold on, I'm just reading it just to make sure there's nothing I'm missing. Okay, apparently that's that's it. Yeah, I just need to get Karn to blow shit up. Take the explosive. Uh, okay. Combine them with the detonator, and that's that's it. Okay. Thing is, though, I want him to have the flare gun because I believe that Trimorph is still left in that chamber with the Fisher. A vacuum tube niche for transferring. Yes, I know what it is. Thank you. So let's put that on over. And. Well, shit, I might as well give him the Diabolus. Yeah, I think I'm actually gonna end this game before midnight, holy shit. Alright, well, everyone is apparently able to get next to each other? S <laughs> no, actually, I'm gonna save it. Before I get them next to each other. Alright, let's see if the serum actually worked. Hey, Kenzo, what's up, dude? Okay. Apparently the serum takes time. Or something. Glad I saved it. Um... Where do I put Kenzo? He just needs to be somewhere where he won't die. That's it, because he'll make his own way. Fuck, where can I put him? Just need to shove him in a corner. A safe, safe corner. Where the fuck am I going? Uh, oh, God, uh, well, roundabout, but okay. That didn't work. Oh, 
Okay, this will work. I'll shove him in here. Yep, that's fine. Alright, let's go collect my shit and get to blowing up. Still don't know why there's an extra set of lenses. But I obviously don't need them. Maybe there was meant to be a fourth crew member or something? Dillinger. Have I been using the Dillinger or the Piccolo? What is that? That's the fucking Piccolo. I have tons of Dillinger ammo, but I've been using the Piccolo? What the hell? Alright, well, screw that stuff. Shove that up the tube. Let's use the Diabolus. Now he's got the flare gun. Good to go. Let's go grab the explosives. Back near the beginning. Clack, clackety clack, 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 clackety click. You're a shitty head crab, you stupid extrude. No one likes you. You were the first pass of the head crabs, and they got rid of you because you sucked. You didn't even look like a crab, and you couldn't even head anything. You just jump into the air. God damn it. Just stuck me. Seriously, fuck you. At least I'm not poisoned. Haha, <laughs> 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 can't poison me while I'm being attacked. <laughs> Almost there. Almost there. Just a little further. Okay. Almost there. Almost. We can do it. Come on, everyone out there. We can do it. I can do it. I think. We can make it. We gotta finish this game. Oh shit, that's where the extra Diabolus is. Yeah, as if. Well, I, I meant to combine them. There we go. Got a Damarung explosives. We daren't use those anywhere in the base. All right. Just put them by the fissure. So wait, like you don't need the clock or anything? What the hell's the clock for? Why? I just realized there's a lot of items in this game that never got used, like the clock, for example. Huh. 
All right, that's it. Yeah, just go set it down there and then run like hell about five minutes to get to the uh, the shuttle bay. All right, well, right before I fight the Trimorph and place the explosives, I'm going to save it and then run like hell. Honestly, getting there in five minutes shouldn't be a problem. I think I can get there in three. Zombies. More zombies. Hold on. Alright, I appear to be safe here. The zombie doesn't care about me. Let me save. I don't know what the hell I'm on. It's 50, whatever, 60. Come on. Can't miss this one, right? I, of course I missed the first one, but whatever. It's done. Reload that. Okay, where's the hot spot for this? There it is. Use Fisher with. Here it goes. Time to run. Okay. Uh, did I use it? Shouldn't. Oh, okay. Shouldn't something say like countdown five minutes or whatever? Whoa, almost fell off. It's not even going to tell me how much. Oh, okay. The explosive charge you've just set will release a volcanic eruption which will obliterate not only the necropolis, but the entire base. You don't have terribly long to escape, about five minutes or so before you're all burnt to cinders. Or maybe it's three minutes. Or two. Who's counting? I'd get a move on if I were you. I really would. That's a total fail. Who's counting? Um, the game, and also, why are you telling me something that prevents me from moving? Her dialogue prevented me from moving. Talk about a mood killer. Like, I'm supposed to be running for my life, and then she starts talking, and I can't move while the time is going down. I guess everything woke up. Oh, is this, like, showing me where I need to go? Yeah, yeah, I know where to go. It comes and goes like a ghost. What is it? Flesh or phantom? How about you shut up so I can move? Why, why don't you... Can't, aren't you capable of having thoughts and talking to yourself whilst moving? Yeah, I'll be there with minutes to spare. I know the way. And that's with that one laser-cut door place not even being open. Actually, hold on, I just realized, you know what would be faster than this, actually? The Dillinger. I'm 
I'm not really fighting big crowds, so yeah, it's actually faster. Alright, take a right, take a left, yep, no, wrong right, no, go, get stuck, sticky wall, sticky wall, zombie, hallway, take a right, yep, 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 uh, uh, yep, uh, uh. And here we go. See? Minutes to spare. Hey, are we cured? Looks like it. We're standing right beside each other and nothing's happening. Good work, Matlock. You too, Kenzo. Let's get the hell out of here. Hello, I'm overriding this paltry onboard computer to deliver a rather important message. Within a minute, this entire craft will be overwhelmed by molten lava. And more bad news, the shuttle bay roof hatch has become disconnected from the InfoMesh system and can be opened by manual means only. I've just released the manual override lever in the bay. One of you will have to run terribly fast and throw the lever. If you're very quick, you might just make it back before the shuttle takes off. Okay, sure. He sacrificed his life, but no one commented upon the fact, and it was so dramatic. Yep. Wish them well. This bad dream is over. As for the next dream, well, that's another midnight. I'm free now, free of my prison of neural networks, that cage of wires. I could wander through infinite space now, the stars my toys. But I think I'll stay a while, keep an eye on things. After all, the bad dreams will always be with us. And now and again, the dreams will come true. And there you have it. Okay, my review of this game, fuck this game, fuck this game, fuck this game, fuck this game. That's my review of this game. <laughs> oh my god, I feel like a weight has been lifted off my shoulder now that I've finished it. Okay, but no, seriously. The game isn't all bad. However, it just gets worse and worse as you go on until by the end it's complete shit. Here's what's good about it. It has good background art. I'm gonna have to stretch to really find good things. Okay, it has good background art. It has a... This one I don't have to stretch to get. It has a really, really cool setting. And this is the best thing about the game. A horror sci-fi survival game. Survival horror sci-fi game. 
based on Mars with some sort of ancient dug up evil. That's fucking awesome. That is such a cool idea and I love it. It's such it's just it's a perfect setting for horror. Being stuck in space, being stuck on Mars, and then you have a creepy ancient terror that we've dug up. That's just really cool. I love that idea. Unfortunately, their ex their execution of that idea was complete crap. But the basic idea was cool and creepy. Uh, Mood, <laughs> Mood's voice actor was pretty good. Whoever did uh, Haraway or Haraway, she was exceptional. Everyone else was either mediocre or complete crap. And uh, I think that's basically the extent of everything that's good in this game. Oh, the menu music is good. That one track, and one of the tracks from the Necropolis is pretty good. That's it, everything else is shit. It's so fucking bad, I can't even believe it. I don't remember it being this bad. It's even worse than I remember. I'm amazed. Okay, well, let's end with a little bit of trivia, because this walkthrough actually has some pretty cool trivia at the end of it. So, in the spirit of finishing off this game in the most complete way, let's read the trivia. All right. Okay, extra items. You will find that many items in Martian Gothic don't really have a purpose. So why did Creative Reality decide to leave them in the game? There are likely several reasons for the extra items. Luxury items. When you start the game, each character will have a set of items that they brought with them. Most of these items serve no real purpose. Picture, lipstick, nicotine patch. They just add a tiny bit of depth to the game. It's kind of neat, although the fact that you have extremely limited inventory space and you can't just drop items on the ground means that those useless items are actually really obnoxious. So that didn't really work. But I like the idea of items that are don't necessarily have a purpose, but are just for story. That's cool. Tags. By the time you've completed the game, you likely you'll have quite a few leftover tags. Some of these tags were added to make sure you didn't come up one tag short in certain areas. Others were probably added to keep you from getting frustrated. Blue. And of course, some are just there for realism. Dorm tags. Alarm clock. The alarm clock was not supposed to be an extra item. Creative Reality had planned on using it in a puzzle, but they were pressed for time. The true purpose of the clock never made it into the final game, thus it became another extra item. Weapons and lenses. Or weapons and lens? These could have been added to realism, but I have my doubts. The extra pair of contact lenses leads me to believe that Creative Reality may have wanted to use a fourth person in the Necropolis, Ben Gunn. There was also an extra radio in the PC version. Ooh, I found that. Uh-huh. That you could give to Ben. If you were paralyzed by an extrude, you could call Ben for help. They may have just ran out of time and scrapped the idea. I, I'm i glad they did, because that sounds stupid. You're, so what, like you're down in the Necropolis or something, and you get stung to death, and you radio Ben Gunn, and he takes like a half hour to get there and resuscitates you, and then goes back to his kitchen? What? I can see why they would scrap that idea. Okay, that says sound bites. Uh, credit to resin for .xa files. I guess they were tearing apart the files for the game or something. A developer's true ambition may sometimes exceed their grasp. A lot of things can change over the course of a development cycle, and many ideas are never fully implemented into the final version. Here are a couple of things that didn't make it to the final version of Martian Gothic. Okay, Mood survives the explosion, mentioned above. Kenzo asks Matlock to drink some sake... Uh, that's how it's pronounced, right? Sake? Saki? Saki? I, I don't remember. Whatever. With him in memory of Karn, may have been possible at one time to choose which character stayed. There's a reference to Kenzo meshing with Mood and surviving in the VR. Hmm. Interesting, surviving in the VR. I could see that. Okay, several references to the Sovereign creating a psychic webbing that wraps around the entire base and prevents escape. Shuttle Bay Hatch is blocked and the, time ha and the team had to confront the Sovereign and go to the pit chamber before they could escape. Must have been one of the final puzzles. Huh. Okay, final boss fight. Sounds very survival horror-ish. But I guess they went with something more straightforward. Nose clippers, digital camera, clockwork mice, and letter opener were removed from game. Clipper, uh, clippers went to Ben Gunn. Letter opener was used to pick a lock. No idea what the other two items were for. Hmm. Uh, you could call Ben Gunn for help on the radio. Ben could also perform blood transfusions in Med Bay. But oh yeah, I did actually see a blood transfusion thing in the Med Bay, didn't I? that you could examine, but you couldn't do anything with it. Okay. 
A lock number two puzzle was altered drastically, required two people, and the door opened in intervals? Probably why this puzzle remains so confusing. <laughs> okay, good. That explains why it's so confusing, I guess. Rock cutter machine could cut different shapes. Okay, so they simplified that puzzle. Characters interacted with, t with each other more, checked up on each other. And then it says, also some pretty funny outtakes. Huh. I wonder if I could get the outtake files. Like, are they just audio files? I, I don't know. Hmm. I guess maybe if I could find them, I'll add them in? I don't know. We'll see. And there's a section on cheats. Is there anything interesting here? <laughs> oh, apparently the game book. It's like one of the items I think you start with or something. And I think it's, what is it, Kenzo that comments upon the fact that it's totally useless? Apparently the uh, game book is actually used to enter cheats in the game. I didn't remember that. Yeah, you highlight the game book and type in the codes. Stuff for, like, infinite ammo and things. Right, is that it? Alright, and that's it. Yeah, so it... Unless I can edit in later the outtakes, if I can find them and if I can actually listen to them. Unless I can do that, this is the end. So that has been Martian Gothic Unification. I hope you found them as painful as I did. Maybe there's some fellow masochists out there that liked harming themselves with terrible games. I almost regret playing this game, but not quite. So I hope you enjoyed, but I suspect you didn't. Goodbye.